Hi, I'm Meg Allen Cole. This is Milo and Gracie. And if you've seen any of my videos, it's probably pretty darn clear that my dogs are amazing. I'm on a constant quest to capture their cuteness, and I'm always looking for new ways to document their adorableness. So today, I'm gonna make a really rad silhouette project using this wood and this flocked paper. To get started, you're going to need to photograph your subjects. Place your subject in between your light source and your camera, and if your subjects are like mine, a little added motivation might be required. So now we're gonna drag our photograph into Illustrator. We made it a high contrast picture so that it would be easier for us to trace around it with our favorite writing implement in the program. But first I'm gonna go ahead and lock the layer so that I don't accidentally move it around while I'm tracing it. I'm gonna draw in a new layer instead. This is my first time using Illustrator, so don't worry or judge, we'll learn together. There are many ways to get the silhouette of your subject. I'm choosing the pencil tool and a bold color ink and tracing around the perimeter of my subject, clicking intermittently to create anchor points. If you make a mistake, just do edit undo and it'll take you back to where you can restart. To clean up tricky spots, select the direct select tool, kind of looks like a white arrow, and zoom in to help you see the anchor points. Choose one anchor point at a time and move them around to where you want them. Anchor points also have handles that help adjust the curvature of the line. To preview your silhouette, zoom out and toggle the visibility on the photo layer. Aw, isn't she cute? You can then go back and tweak any lines that you need to, like these cute little chihuahua ears need to be a little bit larger to accurately represent the Chi Chi. Make sure your silhouette is a closed shape so the knife can cut all the way around. Click on the eye of your photo layer again and voila, you're left with a sweet silhouette to print out. To print, cut and attach your flock paper to the carrier sheet and load it into your cutter. Try different settings depending on the thickness of your paper to make sure it'll cut all the way through. Scared of this here robot? Go low tech by printing out your silhouette, cutting it out and tracing onto paper of your choice. Now just peel that puppy out and clean up any imperfect lines with small scissors. I'm putting my silhouette on a wood piece, so I'm sanding it so it'll hold my adhesive. In a well-ventilated space and wearing protective eyewear, spray adhesive onto the back of your silhouette and place down on your wood and press. And I thought the real Gracie was small. <laughs> you can go the low tech route or you can nerd it up like me with a robo cutter and switch up your backgrounds with either a birch slice, a simple wood piece, or a cute little stone. I love how it turned out. Most importantly, my subject was adorable. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next craft video.